Ladies and gentlemen, uh, thank you TEDxKL, thank you APU for this opportunity. In the next 10 to 15 minutes, I'm going to take you through the process of infusion. So don't be confused, stay focused. Yeah? Uh, what you see now is a very normal uh, picture of what we are going through in life. Yeah? Technology is an enabler. It has changed our lives tr tremendously. It has now become a permanent footing for us. Yeah? Uh, we buy, we sell, we consume because of technology. Yeah? The entire process of technology, from the time a product is created to the time it gets designed, the time it gets manufactured, testing, delivered via logistics to a consumer, the consumer consumes, uses the product, feedback comes back, the cycle continues to the creator, and a new product is developed. Yeah? This entire cycle is based on technology enabling for us to have a better life, and this process has changed our lives tremendously as we move towards uh, the further years to come, whereby technology will evolve and life will even become even better. Yeah? So what I'm going to share with you today is how to use technology for academia. So you've got to infuse technology into academia. And that's very important, especially for a technology migrant like myself and a lot of the migrants in the audience as well. So technology has grown. It has grown vastly from the 15th century to what we have today. Today we have 3D chips, mobile phones which are so strong, they carry one terabyte capacity of data. We have 3D movies. If you go to a theme park, you can even have five to 6D movies. Yeah? That experience is because of technology. So why should we move from conventional methods of education in academia to a modernization? It is very important because the people in front of us, the students, yeah, the young generations, they are technology nat natives. Myself, a technology migrant. I have to keep them interested because they are a race, I call them a race, that want things to be compressed, things to be fast, things to be user-friendly. Yeah? It's a very different scenario, but that's part of moving in time. Okay? We have to create that interest in a classroom, in an auditorium as such. Engagement with the tech nat natives is very different to the tech migrants of before. Yeah? Coming to campus, coming for class has a purpose. We have to create that purpose. As an academician, I have to create that purpose. Developing a common platform for communications via technology enables that ongoing process of education. So what's next? Why do we have to do this? And how do we do this? How do you infuse technology? It's very important. The UN, United Nations, has created 17 Sustainable Development Goals. This entire 17 goals has to be embedded in curriculums for academia, for any program delivery, for any education purpose. If you can see, number four is quality of education. But that is not enough in terms of technology because technology has now surfaced itself with a very concrete footing in all 17 facets of Sustainable Development Goals which means that every curriculum must have these 17 goals as a form of delivery, as a content of delivery, and technology will help you in that way. We know that we need to infuse technology. It's a no-brainer. We have to get there. But what do we do? How do we do it? So now we know that technology is there. We're on the, we're on the driveway. We drive the golf ball. It lands on the fairway. From the fairway, we use our six iron, we take it up to the greens. Now you're on the greens. You're almost there. You're almost there. You're looking at the pin, and you need to put it into the hole. You need to get to the end of that hole. But what do you do? How do you create this infusion? We start with the awareness. We move on to the identification. We then do the selection, the adoption, the execution, and we learn from the execution to develop the gaps analysis. And for that, that entire cycle of continuous improvement, it's an ongoing cycle. All right? Now, this 
is what I call the infusion process, charting. So what do we do as technology migrants like myself? We have to create awareness. We have to know. Knowing is important. And what to know is only can be done through seminars, trainings, train the trainer programs, observations, lots of reading, links to appraisals, performance criteria of how delivery of ed education can be judged and measured. And not only a want, it's not only a want, it is a need. It is a need. So technology trends are important, and I am learning from my own child. Uh, that's him on the right there. Yeah? He has got a short attention span. But when you bring in technology, his attention span is very focused. It is wider, longer, and very focused. And he's a person whom I'm benchmarking how I'm going to infuse technology. So what do we do? We're going to design curriculums. We're going to design academia delivery as an academician. This is a basic design. You take a pencil, you draw a bicycle. Yeah? Basic bicycle. Or do we go on the fast track? Something faster? Something more productive? Or do we go with something more robust? Mountaineering, maybe. Or something of a hybrid model? Foldable? Mobility is, at, you, is there? Or do we go with something really, really basic, a four-wheeler, which is safe? The decision is ours. So how do you identify and select technology, especially which technology to infuse? Yeah? So there are employability requirements. Every graduate, every student, whether it's primary school, secondary school, high school in totality, or when they go up to tertiary, they have an outcome to meet. At tertiary, it's very simple. I need to get a job. They need to get a job. The tech natives have to get a job. Yeah? So it's based on job trends. Yeah? We move on to a broader base where it covers the entire uh, discipline. So it could be cross-discipline. Right? The education programs that we have with, with technology infused has to be user-friendly, which means there will be blended learning. I give you some, you engage yourself. I give you more, you engage more. And that's how we move forward. So support services are important. The infrastructure for technology and innovation has to be there. Better Wi-Fi, better connectivity, stronger and secured infrastructure. Once you have developed the identification selection, you can't do this alone. As a tech migrant, you will have stakeholders. These stakeholders form how the fueling process of a team of F1 engineers and technicians work when the Formula One car comes for fueling. Have you watched Formula One? The fueling is done in a matter of seconds. Why? because they work as a team. They know the productivity, they know the outcome, they know the consumption. They know the time in, time out requirements. Integration is important when we develop programs in academia. So how do we adopt? We will have to adopt with the stakeholders in place, with the stakeholders playing a very crucial role in every process phase. It is important that every phase by phase is cluster selection, Pilot runs are done, and there is a proof of design that comes out of it. Then you go level by level. You can go level one, two, three, year by year. It depends on how you want to define your levels. And after that, you will have interim feedbacks. These interim feedbacks are very important as they give you the continuous in-motion changes that you will need to do. Quality is important. You cannot do anything, you cannot produce anything, you cannot create anything without quality assurance. Now, who does it? So academic leaders, academic managers, will form this entire quality assurance team. They will embrace quality and check on the infusion of technology. There will be gaps which need to be analyzed. This can be done at the end, right? There will be discussions with technology providers who will become your best friends because they have already got systems that are in place which will support the infusion of technology. There will be amendments done fit for purpose for the next rollout. And lastly, every quality improvement comes with closing of the loop. Yeah? And that's very important. Ladies and gentlemen, I want to end my session with just one thing. 
you cannot just infuse technology without facing challenges. And among all the challenges, I would say, this is the cycle of education content, which needs to be attained in that process of infusion technology. And if you look at this, it covers an entire circle of what the content should be. You start with commercial awareness, you go down to resilience and organizational management, you move on to leadership, art of negotiating, and that is a complete circle. The figures that you see on the left and right are targets against OK achievements. And these are targets that we have to put in place as part of the infusion of technology. You cannot infuse technology if you cannot provide the content that is required for the job trends that are, we are seeing now. I want to end with one thing. For the tech migrants, no technology. Embrace it and use technology in whatever way and manner and method that you can do in your education delivery. In terms of the tech natives, demand so that technology is provided in the platform of education that is going to be delivered to you. Technology is not going to run away. It will always evolve. Ensure that you are prepared. Ensure you do enough reading. Ensure you have the frameworks in place. Ensure that you are part of that process. Ladies and gentlemen, technology is here. It is ours. We will have to embrace it. We will have to use it. Let us love it. Thank you very much.